Siri had returned, if not for the Emperor and his agents. It's the least we can do. Yen, what happened back there? It was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. I'll see you again soon. Take care of yourself. Rosa for Atra. Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you. But she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. the Yara, we will cross the Pontar as well. Are you? Why are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This. This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac, my new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady's a witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain, 
Do you truly believe Rosa Bar Artra would train with random clods calling themselves sword masters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss. Realize what you've got yourself into. Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. Another drift of it. Grab a wooden one. And take care not to hurt the little miss. Or you'll earn the ambassador's ire. Follow me. Instructor. Well, well, Papa clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. Better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes. In the garden. So what was it you said? Why are you here? I came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. Mean he wasn't? But you had some sort of relationship? If you call him chasing after me a relationship. Even so, there was nothing between us. Seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense. But enough chatter. Stand and fight. I demand a rematch. How long you gonna make me wait? Oh. Fancy giving me a few private lessons? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix-up's mastermind. Edna Artra, 
the greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden? <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. Good dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent Dandelion some love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Who Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman, not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Sorry, Rosa. Afraid I can't at the moment. Farewell, then. Oh, payment for your time. Your Sultan, the old. Ah, you're back! You met Poppy? She ought to stop talking any day now. That Field Marshal Duda's replacement? The Marshal was a parrot, you do remember, right? Where'd you get her? At auction. Some mage's estate went under the hammer. Witch hunters and the Eternal Fire joined forces, staked out his place, and rounded the sorry sap up. Put his things up for sale. Happened to be passing by and saw this owl. Came with her own cage. How could you resist? Could be. It weren't possible. That but dandelions what matters now. So, how'd you do? Women on my list hadn't seen dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, mystery woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. 
The Troberitz, apparently. Named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. Quite popular of late. Picks up dandelion with a pair of tits and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how Dandelion handled meeting his female double? I think he fell in love. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more? A laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxy. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Here already. Come on, let's find some arse rests. Should start soon. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is! Permit me to introduce... Uh, this here's Priscilla. Known also as Kalanetta. As lovely as she is talented. And this. is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say. There's a good reason I don't pour my heart out to bards. They always babble, as you just demonstrated. But listen, besides giving you the details of my affairs, did Dandelion mention his own plans, where he might be going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me.
there a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Shoot up. And I've not seen him since. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere, but it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least they didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Whoever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bathhouse. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry up. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well, I've got bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to Then I suppose I'll wait. Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The backups is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. I'm not sure that matters, as he's terribly busy. Tell him Geralt of Rivia wants to talk to him. I cannot promise Mr. Reuben that we'll have time to see him. Wanna bet? <laughs> Very well, I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuben cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You'll make this robe here. Your equipment will be safe. Son Junior is a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when, and only when, all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. 
Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? Just a few. First ever party with my prick hanging out. Ah! Don't want to stay long. Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were horse on scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked. Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, is a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusted when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Poor son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Poor son? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private.